In a world where adversity often overshadows hope, there are stories that shine through as beacon of resilience and courage. This is the story of Dr. Irene Olunise, a woman whose life journey has been marked by profound challenges and unwavering determination, a long transplant survivor and bilateral amputee. Irene has transformed her trials into a powerful narrative of hope and inspiration. It all started in uh, 1993 when my doctors found that um, there was something in my chest. Um, I had been coughing for quite a while and it was not responding to treatments. And then when they did the x-ray, they saw something at the University Teaching Hospital in Ibado. They had to do a surgery to find out what that was. And it turned out to be a benign tumor. But after they brought it out, it was a major surgery to bring that out. It was between my heart and my lungs. The coughing did not stop. And I continued to cough nonstop every day for the next 20 years. In the midst of all of that, we were trying to find out what exactly was going on because other things were happening along the side as the problem got progressively worse. In 1998, they made a diagnosis that it's a chronic disease of the lungs and also a debilitating neuromuscular disease, which means that there's a weakness in my muscles and um, all of that made me to continue to cough, you know, very bad, intense coughing. And the weaknesses in my muscles meant that, I mean, my hands can suddenly drop and whatever is there will just drop off. My eyes can just, the eyelids can just suddenly come down and I will not be able to see or my pupils there are late or it can be so bad that I can't even lift up my hand to comb my hair. So because uh, that disease is called myasthenia gravis. 